so How are you doing, Johnny? Good. It's so lovely to be here it's again. It's always oh. nice to have you. And we so enjoy your travelogues. Oh, it's just wonderful just seeing a glimpse of that. I can't tell you. Well, it takes you away from this rain we're having. <laughs> it does. Yeah. But you say, because you, you know, you've done so many now, and you say your heart belongs in a suitcase. Yes. Now, where did this love of travelling come from? I think I was born in a suitcase. I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> because I was born up in India and then left before I was one and then went with my army family and le lived t toing and froing on big troops ships out to Hong Kong and back and then to Malaysia and back and so traveling and I just I just got used to traveling I love the feeling of it I love packing up and going mm -hmm. on of course there's a home sweet home at the end of it but just traveling is magic yeah well this trip is actually your most epic yet you have oh, to say, uh, Joanna. Trying, I want to tell you, honestly, looking on the map, trying to find the Banda Islands, which is going to be my first port of call, in the extreme east of Indonesia. Yeah. And I have the simple reason to, this is the first place on Earth and the only place that had nutmeg trees. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have we got the thing? We have indeed, yeah. I'm about to... The um, thing. The I mean. thing. I mean... <laughs> Look, it looks You're like well a traveled, midget's but... cross stick, but I just want to tell you what it is. Can I just demonstrate for you? I, I don't know if I want to say yes. It's got a massive claw on <laughs> it's it. Got <laughs> this go. extraordinary thing, it's usually on the top of a very long pole. And what they do is that they put it up over the fruit. Guess what I've got in my oh, pocket? A one. pretend little nutmeg. It was part of a key ring, but oh. that's what a nutmeg looks like. And so you'd put this up over the nutmeg, they're like that, and you'd scrag it like that and it would drop in. Then you bring it down again and take the nutmegs out. And they were so valuable, oh, I can't believe it. Well. <laughs> now, are we right in saying? on the theme of nutmeg, yeah. that you unearthed a secret that is nearly so mm. secretive yes. that we nearly can't talk we about it, but can't. maybe we can hint I towards can only it. say that it is widely suspected that a very famous fizzy drink, I mean, if I say Coca-Cola, I think you know who I was talking about, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> They're the biggest purchasers of nutmeg in the world. Oh, interesting. And they, have, they don't list any of their ingredients Mm. But subtly, we think that there might be nutmegs in it, that's all. <gasps> Which is that indefinable something. You have to buy in that they many, there's a good chance that they're in there. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned that you moved from India when you were young, yeah. when you were one, but you went back, didn't you? Yes. That must have been very, very special during this trip. Oh, Alex, back. I can't tell you. Every time I go back to India, and of course I've been back lots of times, each time I go back to a different part. I was born right up in the north, right up in the Himalayas, up in Kashmir. But this time we went following the spice trail across the south through Kerala, Karnataka and yeah. Goa. And India is the most complex and fabulous country in the world. So many different cultures and languages and foods and sp spices and mm. it, everything is completely different in every place. And um, being in a place called Hampi, you go, why haven't I heard of Hampi before? The most colossal abandoned city with temples yeah. and places where they sold, you know, streets where they sold things and all beginning to fall into ruin. You can go there, you can walk there as we did. And you're just aghast and you go, this is like Pompeii or something. Mm. It's massive and nobody seems to be going there. There's magic in this it world. Sounds... It's another feast, yeah. isn't Just, it? Yes, it the is. The eyes, you it know, to watch. Impressive. Everything. It takes you away completely. Um, I mean, you're, you're well-travelled, obviously, uh, Joanna, but is there... There must be somewhere on Earth that you've, you see, you've still got, like, a burning oh. desire to go and visit, to go and explore. Do you know, the more you travel, the more you realise mm -hmm. how little you've seen. You've done this, Alex. I mean, we've all travelled a bit. And each time you go, you might, be to, you might go to Portugal and you've only been to a part of Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. You might go to even... You might go to Kent and you realise you've only seen bits of Kent. Yeah. And then you take the whole world and you go, well, you know, people say, oh, I've been to Asia. And you go, well, <laughs> you yeah. haven't. My parents lived in India and they said, it doesn't matter how long you live there, you can never know India. No. No. It goes on and on, giving, giving, giving. Mm. So wherever I go to next will be the...